Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so we're going to look at this expression or this equation where we're set, uh, being asked if these two expressions are equal to each other, and if so, when. We'll solve it algebraically, and then we'll translate it geometrically and how we solve it geometrically. So I'll be code switching back between English and Spanish uh, just to cover certain terms I want you to make sure you understand across both languages. Vamos a tomar estas dos expresiones que son iguales y encontrar para qué valor número real tiene que ser x para que estas dos expresiones son iguales. Vamos a usar nuestros métodos de álgebra que viene siendo deshacer, um, multiplicando, dividiendo, sumando, restando y buscar el resultado. Después de que saquemos el resultado, vamos a tomar esa misma ecuación y resolverlo geométricamente. Now, now that that's been stated, what we're going to do, let's jump right into it. Algebraically, again, I want to isolate all my variable terms to one side. Quiero aislar todos mis términos que contienen variables a un lado, un lado, izquierda o derecha del símbolo de igualdad. So what I notice is this. If I subtract 3x from both sides, I'm going to remove the same amount. This is an ugly 3. What happens when I do that? I end up with a zero pair. These are zero pairs. Entonces, mi resultado es negativo 7 es igual a 1 positivo. Now, this might cause confusion because you're expecting to have something that looks like this. X equals some number. That's not always the case. That's why we're doing this kind of weird one. It doesn't necessarily mean that they always have some connection. No, no necesariamente uh, tienes que tener una ecuación que siempre va a tener un resultado. A veces hay múltiples resultados y a veces no hay ningún resultado que tienen en común. So, I did my work accurately. I removed equal values from both sides, minus 3x, and I'm left with this. I did my work. So, what does this mean? Is negative 7 equal to 1? ¿Es este número real igual a este número real en cantidad? No, it's not. Therefore, not equal. So, there is no solution. For this equation, there's no value for x that I can choose that would set these two expressions equal to each other. No solution, and I'm going to add the word exists. Just to drive home this meaning right here. Okay. Now, how are we going to solve it geometrically? Well, let me rewrite the equation over here. And it's always good to rewrite it just so that you're not making those little errors where you, your brain translates some number, like the sign here, I could have missed it. Instead of having plus one, I got negative one. So geometrically, how am I going to solve it? We're, well, we're assuming that if these two expressions are equal to each other, si esas dos expresiones son iguales, entonces la salida va a ser igual y es representado por el mismo variable que es y. Yeah. So if they're equal to each other, that means they're, they must have the same solution so that it'll be represented by the same variable, y. So I'm going to rewrite this as, and I use colors here, y equals 3x minus 7, and y equals, in fact, I'm going to write it a little differently, 3x plus 1 equals y. Are they equal to the same variable? Yes, they're equal to y. Even if the colors are different, we're talking about the same output. Therefore, these two expressions are equal to each other, which satisfies my original problem. I haven't changed my answer because I'm still showing the connections. So I'm going to take this and graph it on Desmos. So it has the same slope, but different output. And what happens? Notice that these lines look like they're parallel. And why would they be parallel? Well, how do I know? I can zoom out, but if I zoom out, it eventually looks like it's one line. So how can I tell when I pick an input that's huge, 12,000, how do I know 
that they don't intersect. In fact, let me zoom out as much as I can. 15,000, here we go, it's a better number. 15,000. How do I know, oops, that this doesn't mean that they intersect? Because here it looks like they're one line. Well, it comes back to this. Notice that they have the same growth, the same rate of change, the same slope. So that means these two equations, as you graph them, they're growing at the same rate. Yes, they have different starting points, but they're growing at the same rate. So they're never going to run into each other. They're always going to be at the same pace, one's ahead of the other. And that is what verifies that these two lines are parallel. And it comes back to my original answer. No solution. Parallel lines means, oops, forgot my L. No solution. Okay. Now, that's one example. Let's jump into the next one right off the bat, shall we? We have a new equation. We're being asked to find or the value for x. I would set these two expressions equal to each other. And if it doesn't, as we saw in the previous problem, then we state it doesn't. And why? So we'll jump here algebraically. Let's, first thing I'm going to do. I notice I have one variable term on the left. On the right side of the equation, I notice that I have two variable terms. Entonces, lo primero que quiero hacer es sumar y simplificar esa expresión primero. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 plus 3x equals 2x plus x is 3x plus 2. Okay. And now... I can go ahead and look at my my new equation and solve for x, okay? Now, if you see it already, you probably know what the answer is. Go ahead and jump ahead and try to solve it geometrically. If you don't see it, like I don't see it, then I'm going to continue with my steps. So I'm going to isolate my variables, my variable terms, 3x plus 3x. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. This looks pretty good. I'm left with 0. And I have 3x equals 3x. Um, it seems that they're identical. iguales. What does this mean? Bueno, cualquier número que escojo, siempre lo voy a multiplicar por tres. What means is that any real number value I choose, 1, 2, negative 3, I always multiply it by 3. And therefore, I'm going to end up with the same answer. Example. 3 times negative 1 equals 3 times negative 1, right? Because x is the same value. So it should be, I chose negative 1, and I'm left with this. Is this true? Yes. And I can choose other numbers, 0, 10, 1,000. I'm still going to get equal values. So think about what does that mean for my graph, when I graph it. What's it going to look like? We've seen two linear lines where they intersect. We've seen two lines that are parallel, don't intersect. But what happens when they're identical? What's the line going to look like? Okay. So let me rewrite the equation here. And for those of you that got ahead and said, well, I got the equations down, match them with mine, shall we? The first one, I'm going to go with 2 plus 3x equals y. And the next one, I'm going to say y equals x plus 2 plus 2x. And I'm going to write it out like this. If you group these and you got y equals 3x plus 2, you're fine. I'm just trying to prove a point here. These two expressions are equal to each other because they equal the same variable y. Oops. Made that little y. Therefore, this comes back to my original problem, which checks out. I'm going to graph these two equations on decimals and see what our linear lines or line will look like. And so let me close this guy. They have equal starting value and growth. And what happens? We get a single line. Notice that I graphed the equation as I wrote it. So even if you simplify it or you just type it like this, when you graph it geometrically, you'll still get your linear lines. In this case, notice that I have orange and black. Orange is in polka dots. And black is a straight line. It's identical. So. 
what happens when I'm solving two expressions and they turn out to be identical? That means they're the same line. Okay. But what does that mean as an answer? How do I write down the answer? Do I just put uh, same line? Well, this is what we do. Since it's identical, we're going to write the word linear because we're talking about straight lines, linear line. That means, and I'm going to erase this. When I solve it algebraically, what it's telling me is that it has all real number solutions exist. And let me erase the number because it looks terrible. Just put the pound sign. And this is what this means. It means that any number I choose that's a real number on a real number line is going to work and it's going to give me the same exact value on both sides of the equation, which means these two expressions are the same thing. When I graph it geometrically, it's identical, right? So, lo que se refiere, a este, refiere aquí a la respuesta es de que puedes escoger cualquier número real y siempre va a salir con la, la misma respuesta. Que viene diciendo que estas dos expresiones son idénticas y con las Resuelvo geométricamente, saco la gráfica, la línea recta es idéntica, uno sobre la otra. Okay? And now you have our three forms of solutions. Uh, there will be a slide, a PowerPoint slide, just going, uh, summarizing what we did, going over the three possible forms of solutions. So make sure you read that after you complete this video um, and make sure you take as much notes as you can. Okay. All right. Until next time.